the play is this kind of you know, poly narrative and, and not linear, and I think sound is a very perfect uh, addition to that because of, it's yet another narrative that we are adding to sort of underscore. And, and it, what's interesting about the play, I think, is that the various narratives are, are not synchronous, obviously, and even I think the sound will have its it, it will have a slightly own trajectory that it parallels and maybe deviates in some ways from the general structure of the play. The play itself is very um, ambiguous in a way. When people first come into the space, you're not exactly sure what this building is supposed to be, um, what is going on, who are these people. And that's why we have this ambient soundscape. It's going to reinforce that feeling of a depth questioning what the space is. Yeah, I would say one of the interesting things is, has been the challenge of setting up a sound infrastructure in a space that has no infrastructure. And how do you, how do we sort of uh, infiltrate the space and kind of equip it with the kind of sounds that this play requires? So it's both the kind of space we're working in and the play itself that have actually combined to make it a very interesting and, and challenging project. Actually, have sort of arrived at this idea that there will be a kind of ambient sound world that that the viewers, participants, kind of inhabit as they walk through the space, and that's to set the general tone. And then there are kind of specific sound worlds in each of the uh, rooms for the scenes, and that's the part that's been pretty challenging: is how to do that. And we kind of now we've arrived at a kind of a wireless solution that we're going to be prototyping. It's going to be able to capture the emotions, or hopefully capture the emotions of this event in history that people might not necessarily know a lot about, but afterwards hopefully we'll know like the feeling and what that's really going for, like what people that were going for.